All this month at Appalachian Wireless, get the only truly water-resistant Android smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S7, for just $99.99, and get a second one free. While supplies last, service agreement is required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. United States Senator Rand Paul was making several campaign stops through the region today, including here at the Pine Mountain Grill in Whitesburg, Kentucky, for a constituent services banquet. Some of the issues discussed today during the constituent services banquet included Medicaid and the future of medical marijuana in the state of Kentucky. You know, I don't know uh, whether medical marijuana works, but I do advocate my own patient choice. Probably does have some effect on nausea. It probably has some effect on wasting diseases where people are losing weight. Uh, I think there's a certain bit of hypocrisy that we have 17 drugs from the poppy plant that your doctor is allowed to prescribe, including Oxycontin, including things that are really, really addictive and bad for you, but they're not allowed to prescribe something that might be good for sleep, you're a cancer patient, might be good for nausea, might be good for appetite. Senator Rand Paul was also asked about his opponent, Democrat Jim Gray, and Gray's relationship with presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. Now, I don't think you can be a friend to Eastern Kentucky or a friend to Cole if you're a supporter of Hillary Clinton. I kind of consider it kind of galling that someone would come out here who's a big supporter of Hillary Clinton and what did she say? Hillary Clinton said, we're going to put your coal mines out of business. We're going to bankrupt coal. They also support President Obama. How can they support President Obama and be a friend to Eastern Kentucky? He said he was going to bankrupt coal. I mean, these are people who don't want regulations for health and safety. They have supported regulations to put out one out of business, to bankrupt one of our leading industries. So, no, I think it's uh, ironic that they would come to Eastern Kentucky at all because I don't think you can be a friend to Eastern Kentucky if you're a supporter of Hillary Clinton. Senator Rand Paul is expected to be in Pikeville tomorrow. Reporting from Whitesburg for EKB News, I'm Jackson Latta.